Hello and welcome to Cyber's WebEx on Smarter Planning. In terms of what we'll be covering with you today, we'll highlight why businesses need to adopt Smarter Planning, where we'll examine how companies are organized today and investigate the issues of working with multiple data sources, disparate products and geographically dispersed operation centers for planning, reporting and consolidation. We'll then position SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation, which will set the scene for the most important part of the WebEx, where we'll highlight the cyber formula and explain how the formula can create real business value from the SAP Business Planning and Consolidation Toolkit. A demonstration will then follow to show the formula in action. We'll then summarize the key points and finish with a short summary about cyber. Turning to our first topic, why do businesses need to plan smarter? How are most companies organized today? Often, planning information and data for planning applications is stored in a variety of structured and unstructured data sources. This could be in ERP, CRM, or HR systems, combined with disparate spreadsheets and offline calculations that all form part of the planning process. This data is then loaded and moved into multiple products for planning, reporting, and consolidation purposes. Often, the same data is loaded many times into these disparate systems, with the risk of disconnects and inconsistencies all too common. This often leads to users and consumers being faced with a plethora of user interfaces and lack of clarity on where best to find the right data and the right meaning. So what can SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation do to help? SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation, or SAP BPC, helps streamline planning, budgeting and forecasting to enable rapid turnaround of business plans and increase the strong level of governance and control through planning cycles in a process-controlled environment. SAP BPC is a familiar and easy-to-use tool using web-based cockpits and the familiar Microsoft Office tools to update and interact with plans, forecasts, and actual reporting. It's a process-centric application using guided sequence-locked process flows to ensure contributors follow the correct procedure. And it's a unified application, a single application with single sets of data for planning, forecasting, consolidation, and reporting actual activity. Having talked about the planning tool, it is the cyber formula that vitally leverages this by providing a link between big business challenges and technology. For example, have we got inflation under control, i.e., are we passing our cost increases on properly? Or are we going backwards? Are our overheads really in line with our projected volume increases for next year? You'll see how to answer such challenging questions in the demonstration section that shows the cyber formula in action. But first, what is the cyber formula? The cyber formula represents the dimensions or vectors that can be used, measured, and benchmarked to determine a forecast for the following year. The formula is next year's plan, NP, for year Y, is equal to the latest forecast for the year, minus 1, plus or minus the impacts of inflation, I, less the productivity improvement impacts, P, plus or minus the impacts of changes in volume, V. The three key vectors are common across all areas, be it sales, fixed assets, capex, or overhead planning. Each of these vectors can be benchmarked against and monitored if plans are being calculated correctly by contributors. For example, if the inflation effects on an overhead spend in a particular cost center are running at 10%, but the expectation is inflation will be 5% in the following year, this would steer reviewers and finance teams to drill into that cost center and look at where cost inflation is outside the expected levels. It's a method of alerting people to variances, and it's a method of monitoring whether forecasts and plans are realistic. The same would apply to productivity gains or for volume changes. We see a practical illustration of the formula on the waterfall chart of a typical cost center department, showing the move from the current forecast, F, y minus 1, plus or minus all the movement of vectors of inflation, volume, and productivity to get to the new plan value. We can bring all the planning impact vectors for all the different elements of planning, such as cost centers, sales, and margins, together into a profit and loss style statement. 
This profit and loss statement shows for each main heading how much the plan has been impacted by each of the vectors. Equally, by reviewing down each vector, it's possible to understand if margin and profitability is being increased or decreased across the profit and loss account within the vector. For example, if we look at the net operating income line under the inflation impact column, we can see that we have effectively lost £15,300 on inflation effects. This can be seen to be driven by increases in the R&D payroll overhead being higher than the inflation impact increases in sales revenue, 4.76% versus 1.65%. We can now see this in action with the SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation application in a typical overhead planning cycle for a cost center. We've joined in at the guided process flow stage, and here we're going to input the forecast for the remainder of the year and start to calculate the following year budget. The user selects the next entry on the process flow to launch the input schedule to drive these calculations as displayed on the screen. Using the familiar Microsoft Excel interface, color coding can be used to guide the user to the areas that need completing. Across the top of the screen, we see the elements that make up the cyber formula again. So F, Y minus 1, I, P, V. And through this demonstration, we'll see the user completing information to calculate the plan values. So, for example, the user updates their expectation on how costs will increase or decrease for the remaining four months in order to recalculate the expected year-end forecast. This is the basis of the initial driver in the formula F, Y, minus 1. The user will then move along the screen to complete each of the individual drivers of inflation, productivity, and volume mix. This then results in a calculated total for the new plan, NP. By submitting the data, it is written to a central data store, providing a single version of the truth of the data for this particular planning round. We can observe 69 records have been stored within the database, completing the data entry for the input schedule. The contributor is returned back to the guided process flow. The next step is to view the summary budget report, which allows him to review the submissions made. We now have a view where costs are summarized into individual cost headings, and we see useful charting and graphing that shows the impact of the individual elements of the cyber formula. Additionally, we have measures, metrics, and alerts on the report that identify those areas where, for example, the inflation is outside tolerance. We can add charting to these individual output schedules to illustrate the effects on the planning values. The user is able to drill down into the individual cost lines under the summarized headings to further analyze the detail behind. In another view, a senior manager may want to review each of the individual cost centers that may make up his overhead department. After drilling down into the detail, we can swap into a different dimension and see costs broken down by cost type. This achieves multiple dimensional views. In summary, we've seen the application of the cyber formula in the areas of overhead planning and forecasting utilizing the SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation application toolset. When deployed with a number of cyber templates, which consistently follow the cyber formula across CapEx, headcount, and sales planning, cyber's agile approach provides the elements for a successful and logical business planning solution. As you can see from our simple illustration, the use of Cyber's templates in SAP BPC provides significant value to your business. A secure server-based application that enables a single version of the truth. A planning tool that drives process consistency through workflow and business process automation. The ability to quickly visualize the business planning data to identify discrepancies and deviations from the corporate model enabling the financial analyst to focus on inconsistencies and incorrect assumptions in the planning process. 
Cyber and SAP empower faster, error-free business forecasting, allowing internal financial analysts to spend time analyzing the data rather than fixing data entry issues. A brief introduction to Cyber. Cyber is a global IT consulting services and outsourcing company. Founded in 1974, Cyber has annual revenues in excess of $1 billion and 8,500 employees worldwide. With expertise across the complete SAP landscape, Cyber's capabilities include application implementation, development, integration and management in both custom and ERP environments with flexible, robust and fully integrated infrastructure support options. We combine business planning and consolidation industry experience, certified finance capability and solution accelerators with specialist SAP consulting skills to build practical solutions for planning and consolidation applications. Harnessing this know-how has enabled Cyber to construct robust, pre-built building blocks for rapid deployment of overhead, capex, headcount and sales planning into a series of self-contained models in their own right, utilizing the consistent Cyber formula. Cyber has a global delivery model comprising of 1,300 plus SAP specialists and are proud to have more than 2,000 satisfied customers. Additionally, we have a number of SAP accreditations, including SAP Global Hosting Partner, SAP Global Application Management Services Partner, SAP Gold Channel Partner, and SAP Business Object Solution Provider. We hope you enjoyed this session on Smarter Planning, and if you'd like to discover more, please get in contact with Cyber. Thank you, and goodbye.